today. Today we're going to do lesson plan number nine, term two, grade seven. Um, the topic is multiply whole numbers by common fractions um, and it links to worksheet 36 in the DBE book. Just quickly showing you that. Um, then we're going to go back to the lesson plan. Um, here is then our link to the caps. Um, then the dictionary, remember here to pause and you as parent and teacher need to go through this so you can support your child in doing the lesson plan or the activities. So we're going to come to the mental mathematics. Um, I'm just quickly going to remove the answers and you're going to ask these 10 questions then to your child or to the learners. Pause. Welcome back. I'm going to reveal then the answers. You can pause here again and then you can mark it. Let's then go to the lesson plan for today. Um, just the introduction part is that we just have a reminder that 4 equals to 4 over 1 in a fraction format. So because 4 divided by 1 equals to 4. So let's go and look at the concept development. So if 4 divided by 4 is 4 over 1, how will we multiply the following fractions? Now, what we have is we have 3 multiplied by 1 fifth. Now, we know that 3 or multiplication is the same as repeated addition. So 3 multiplied by 1 fifth means the same as 1 fifth plus 1 fifth plus 1 fifth. And we can show it on a diagram like this. So let's quickly see. So what we're going to do, the 3, we're going to say 3 over 1. So 3 divided by 1, multiplied by 1 fifth. So we're going to multiply the, the denominators. 3 times 1 will give me 3. And the numerators, 1 times 5, will give me 5. So let's go and look at example number two. So example number two is we give you the answer and you need to get the two fractions. Now, what did we learn? We learned that multiplication means the same as repeated addition. So here we're going to get the two fractions that are the same that will give me this answer. Now on the right hand side, you can see one third plus one third equals to two-thirds, but it also means two times one-third. So now you can see, we can fill in here one-third multiplied by one-third. Then we're going to say two multiplied by one-third. Remember that two over the one means two divided by one. And then we're going to multiply the top numbers and then the bottom numbers. And we get two-thirds. And then the last step is just to write it out to see that two times one-third equals two, two-thirds. I want you to pause at example two, go through it again, and then come up with two or three of your own examples. Well done. Let's then go to example number three. Um, here we just again going to multiply two fractions. So we're going to multiply the top numbers and then the bottom numbers. So we multiply the denominators and the numerators or we can first multiply the numerators and then the denominators. And then lastly, again, we're going to multiply two fractions. So three halves multiplied by six quarters. So we get 18 over 8. We go to simplify it. So we see that 2 goes into the bottom number and the top number. Remember, if you can't find that number, um, you must first find the highest common factors. 
it gives us then 9 divided by 2 or 9 halves. And then I'm going to use, take the improper fraction and I'm going to change it to a mixed number. So I'm going to say 2 goes into 9 four times. There's one left. So I write it at the top and I've got still got my 2 at the bottom. So the answer is 4 and a half. So I want you to pause here and then go through example 3 and 4 again and see if you can make up one extra example of each. Then we're going to go to your worksheets or your DBE books um, and you're going to complete these worksheets then according to the examples we have done. Then you're going to solve the problems. And then lastly, you're going to do your extra activities um, where these questions are coming from old exam or test papers. Then we're going to go to our consolidation. Um, we're going to tick, if we tick all of them yes, we can carry on to the next lesson. If we got some no's, we need to revise, revisit or need to contact SA teacher. Mm -hmm.